Hi, I'm Rebecca Terrell, reporting for Liberty News Network from the Heartland Institute Conference in Chicago, Illinois. This is the fourth international climate change conference for this group. There are 73 speakers and from 23 countries, 64 sponsors from 18 countries of this event, and none of them are oil. <laughs> that is something that they made sure to emphasize with us. This is a wonderful conference. It's hard to know where to start to tell you what's going on today. Uh, breakfast this morning we had two wonderful speeches, one from Patrick Michaels uh, of Cato Institute and also former governor of Virginia, George Allen. Uh, they covered, uh, Mr. Michaels, Dr. Michaels covered uh, global warming science now compels EPA to reopen its finding of endangerment and uh, Governor Allen spoke on a winning American energy game plan. After that, we broke up into four different uh, sessions. There, two were based on science, one was based on economics, and one based on public policy, and that's the way it's been for the rest of the day. We've had uh, three different sessions just like that. And that's some you, they told us, they warned us at the beginning, you're going to miss 75% of this conference because you're just not able to clone yourself and be in more than one place at a time. But they will have all of these um, conference sessions online very, very soon for all of us to, to um, benefit from. Some of the speakers, some names that you'll recognize probably, Gary Sharp, he is a PhD. He, signed, he was one of the many who signed uh, the Copenhagen Climate Challenge letter. Uh, we have Pamela Gorman, who is with the Arizona Senate. She's a wonderful dynamic speaker. Dr. Willie Soon, there's no comparison to him. Um, we've also had, there are also a couple of um, war global warmists here, Tam Hunt um, and Scott Denning, both, uh, well, Tam Hunt is a, is a lawyer and um, Dr. Denning is a PhD. They fully believe that the idea of anthropogenic global warming is absolutely true. And so those, those sessions offered some, some excitement. Um, and then at lunchtime, unfortunately, Senator Inhofe couldn't be with us because of his obligations in Washington, but uh, we were very blessed to hear Dr. Richard Linson, who spoke for a long time about global warming and how to approach it from the science-based aspect, exposing global warming for the fraud that it is. Um, after that, we had yet another session of four different tracks, two science, one economics, and one on public policy. Again, very familiar names, James Dellingpole um, and Myron Ebel, several, just a bunch of um, experts in the field. So uh, this has been a very full day. There's a reception tonight, and tomorrow we start it all over again at 7 o'clock in the morning, bright and early, where, when we'll hear from Roy Spencer, and many other names, Christopher Horner with the Competitive Enterprise Institute, Lord Christopher Monckton, who hardly needs an introduction, and then we will wrap up the conference tomorrow with Joe Bast, who is the president of the Heartland Institute. We thank him very much for the hard work he's doing. This is Rebecca Terrell with the New American Magazine. I'm reporting for Liberty News Network.